What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka the Water King, coming at you for another Duel Bros video. And right now, we are about to get into my theme deck opening, right? So, ooh, my hair is a little bit... Ooh, ooh. Anyway. Uh, you already seen Steven's theme deck opening, right? Well, now we're about to get into my theme deck opening. Uh, which, it just so happened, we both ended up getting sets at different times, opening them at different times. Well, you know, we're, we're not around each other all the time, so you're getting two different sets of theme decks openings. You've seen Steven's reactions to them, so now you're going to see my reactions to them. And without further ado, let's get into it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Alright, so let's get into it, okay? I know right now you're probably thinking to yourself, this guy talking about with this and Wilderness theme deck opening. But he got a Nightfall one. Listen, guys. I was like 90% sure that I had a Reptoid Ruler. But I guess I don't. I searched my entire collection. And I do not have a Reptoid Ruler. So I went and I caught me this theme deck so I can give me a Reptoid Ruler. Because I have a Cosmic deck that I think I'm going to do a deck breakdown on soon because i'm going to catch up on all the duels first and then gonna do this cosmic deck breakdown because i still haven't done one so uh i just want to kind of dodge because uh, to be honest there was just not one that was going to be good like i could not i didn't feel comfortable making a cosmic deck and saying okay you guys use this before wilderness but now that that's here i have that and so we're going to open this. So, you know, let's get into this Nightfall first. And then we're going to go Paul Bunyan, Father Time, Need a Black Bear, and Alpha Gator. Right? Bam. 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 Reptoid Ruler, we're going to kind of go a little bit fast. Not too fast, but a little bit fast. We're not in a time rush or nothing. But, but the Wilderness theme decks, we're going to go through. I'm going to see what each card has. Uh, this is just going to be like, you know... Me seeing all of these for the first time, except for the Reptoid Ruler. Although, I, if I'm being honest, do not remember uh, what specific cards other than Reptoid Ruler come in there. So, gosh darn it. You know, I, uh, I've been working and not biting my nails. So, whoever made that comment. And uh, I've been getting better. But, still. All right, the Reptoid Ruler, and we got the Bell Witch Pack. So, you know what that means, guys. That means that we got the figgity figgity fire of the Bell Witch coming. All right. Holy shit. Here we go. Come out. Whammy. All right. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I had this one already, but whatever. Whatever. All right. So, I'm not really going to get into that i just want the reptoid ruler for this right here all bc aliens you control gain tribal boost until the end of this turn you fatigue whammy and whoop, 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 whoop. okay we'll get into that later we'll get into that later all right but for right now let's get into this bell witch pack all right as you know on the dueling bros channel Whenever we open a Bell Witch pack, we get the heat, okay? Okay? So let's do it, okay? Look, it's got a curve, it's got a nice curve, and a duck. Guys. What? How? Ah, uh, That's cool. We got abduction, though. Hey, you can't, you can't get mad at abduction. All right, let's just set that over here. Got some Nightfall cards. Got this green coin and shit. All right. So now, let's get to the Paul Bunyan, right? Oh, this is one of the main ones I want to see, although, <clears throat> unless there's some crazy stuff in here, the deck that I build off of this is probably just going to be fun, for fun to eat. But, you know, I was, I've been excited for Paul Bunyan for a very long time. I like Babe. I have a first sightings Babe, and, uh, and so, and this card allows Babe to be, like, very easily... Uh, played and then I've seen a, a pr I've, I have a pretty cool combo inside. I got a snipe pack art. Okay, we got that Paul Bunyan right so you know you may contract bathe the locks with forest and and Ice aura after this attack results destroy a forest terror page in the arena, All right, So it's very very cool 
<clears throat> I will get into. I have to. I. I. I don't want to jump the gun and and get to and get to talking about my plans with with him because uh, I just. Uh, I don't know. It's, it seems like it's going to be a little bit complicated to use because uh, you don't necessarily want to play a forest terror, even though. You get a damage bonus, like it's only out for one turn, so I don't know, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure that out, right? Maybe a card in the in the deck will, uh, will help us out. All right, four, boom. All right. Iowa Dragon, okay. Black Dog, wah, wah, right? Have a hot hundred of those, right? So now we just need to, man, I'm not even going to try and make myself look dumb. Let's open this up. We got this Paul Bunyan. And automatically set Paul Bunyan to the side, right? What I want to know is there going to be more alternate artworks of other cards. Like that Gumbaroo and all that crap. I really like that. So Paul Bunyan set right here. So we got Ohio Grass Man. Okay. Okay. Skunk Hate. Oh, <laughs> non-hollow growth. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. We'll set that to the side. Ooh, we got the power up red. Or <laughs> I like that power up red. I do. Oh, and these bookmarks are just so beautiful. Oh, and the new lightning in the bottles. Beautiful. Four, five. Oh, wonderful. All cards I would love to keep. Right. Forced or. Uh... Get a lot of it. Okay, so nothing that really hints on what to do with Paul Bunyan and how it works with Babe and the Blue Ox, but you know that's cool because it's a forest deck, right? It's a forest like theme deck, so you don't want it to be about other stuff. Okay, so now we get in to this, right? Let's see what we get here. Father Time, I'm also super curious about because, um. Mechanic wise, I think I think there's something here because I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to speak first. I don't, I, 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 I have I have ideas, right? I have ideas. Uh, but like just I mean check this out. Check this out guys, right? So it's like each caster shuffles any number of pages of their choice from their chapter into their spell book. Then each caster bookmarks the same number of pages they chose. I mean, that's really, really good, right? So, um, you know, d don't sleep on Father Time. <laughs> don't sleep on Father Time. I don't want to, I don't want people to come back to me later being like, bro, did you see Father Time? Yes, I saw him. I'm telling you, make sure you see him. <laughs> He's dope. He's really good. It's like another new beginning. Everybody loves New Year's New Beginnings and blah, 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 blah. But now, look, you got Father Time. I hope, I hope he becomes the talk of the town because... That's cool. I mean, that's really cool. I mean, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with him, right? I'm going to put him in deck here soon with, like, my Dragon of Aconto Falls and stuff like that. Which, by the way, I didn't pull not one Dragon of Aconto Falls. All three that I have, I got from trade. So, that was a uh, shout-out to all those cool people. I think it was Steven and then Snacks Breaks and then... I traded somebody else for one. I, I don't remember who, but I shout out to all three of you guys. So we got the Paul. And then we got Golden Bear. All right, yeah. Need that Golden Bear. Ooh, and tons of unicorns. Okay. All right, that's, I guess that's to be expected. Power up red. Water to wine. For the rest of the turn, any effect from your pages that recover, LP deal damage instead. Double the amount of LP that potions recover. All right. Okay. Light Ward, I like the Light Ward, okay. Okay, boom, we got the bookmarks. Whammy, again. New beginning, I definitely like that new beginning in those daytimes, I need those daytimes, right? All right, cool. Cool, nothing too, too special out of there. Um, wow, I, I would say the, at least you get the lightning in the bottles from the, uh, did I just miss those? I mean, no, because you get the artifact barriers and the golden bear. 
Huh? And you know what? The daytime is really, really uh, rare as well. So, Daniel, don't sleep on the daytime, right? So we got Deer Woman. Save the holy... Oh, Night Marchers. Hey, I think I needed one more. That's dope. Set that to the side. Yes, set that to the side. Because I think I did need one more. Uh, all right. So, so far, I'm liking Paul Bunyan a little bit more experimental. But uh, I am liking Father Time. That guy, I'm thinking, is just... Oh, I think he's gonna be the bee's knees. Now, secret time. I've already looked into to this card, okay? I don't know. Depending on what the deck comes with, will I will defer more secret sauce. If the deck, like, comes with the cards I think it's gonna come with, which it, it should come with, then the deck that I've made is not really that big of a secret, and I will just, uh, I'll just upload that bitch, and it won't be a big deal. Uh, my boy Lover Deck had some issues on uh, Castro Society, just the way I built it. Uh, I didn't think things through. I'm a silly head, so I'm having to remake it, so I have a different one. I mean, look at this bitch. Okay. At the end of your turn, recover 5 XLP, where X is equal to the amount of burn counters you have. Remove those X counters. Yeah, beautiful. This, pain, this page gains plus 5 LP for every Forest Terra and uh suburban terror or farm terror in the arena so that's really cool and it has regenerate too that is so so strong okay regenerate too and reclaim the flame 60 this guy is so strong do not sleep on this bear if a fire deck gets that bear out you just ooh, just no troubles coming your way just oh just know it and i love this token mm, gotta love that token yeah all right Oh man, here we go. Alright guys, there's the moment of truth, really. I have some secret sauce on a deck, and if this has a lot of a certain card, and then another of a certain card, then I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. If not, then it's just going to stay secret time. Alright, Black Bear, we already have a Black Bear. Wham! Wamp is cat, okay. Joe Magarak. And there it goes, the rabbit. Rabbit. Don't sleep on the rabbit, okay? Go get yourself the Black Bear theme deck, just like everybody did, got the water deck, and you play with the rabbit, okay? I'm telling you right now, don't sleep on the rabbit, okay? We got Unholy Fire, ooh, it's, that's new. That is new, I like that. Oh, and Unholy Fire is a, that's interesting. That's interesting. And, and it's not... And then Wildfire. Don't sleep on what... Yes, this is the... If, rabbit and Wildfire. Those two cards right there. Don't sleep on them. It's like the basis of any fire deck that you're making right now. It should be Rabbit and then Wildfire. A max of both, okay? Any other thing you choose can be up to your you know, choice. But I'm saying Max Rabbit and Max... Uh, what you call it? Max Wildfire. That's just That's just how it should be. Got two bookmarks, whammy. Now more lighting in a bottle. So yes, because this is a, supposed to be a crazy fast deck, right? So why buy, why abandon silo at the start of each turn? The active caster generates one neutral ore if they control no pieces in the arena. Oh, nah, I don't really like that because it helps the other person. But good lord, guys, I cannot tell you how how close this like this like just like the water deck from nightfall was really really good like i'm i can tell you just by looking at this like this has a very very good concept there like and if you want a good fire deck a good basis if you have no cards at all is going to wilder going to the wilderness theme deck and getting getting the fire theme deck that that theme deck right there is good okay don't sleep on it i'm literally just going to swip swap cards in and out and then bam that my mine is going to be Beautiful, okay? I, I cannot wait, all right? Of course, I saved the gator for last. <gasps> Golden bear, beautiful. Oh, we got a Cumberland dragon. Got a Cumberland dragon. Oh, uh, he deserves to go right there, right? Even though he's a reverse holo. He's the man. All right. So, let's get into it right now. Alpha gator, all right? I'm the water king, so I claim... 
And so naturally this guy has piqued my interest. And yes, uh, oh, I mean, this is worth it just for like, if they have alternate art sewer alligators in here. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I like rocking me some shinies in the deck, but I, I really dig alternate art, especially if like by chance it is done by Chris Campman. Oh my Lord. Shout out to Chris Campman. It's a good friend of Steven and I, he's a great artist. That would be really cool. I'd have to rock those, right? I have to rock those because he's a good friend. Another, all snipe packs, I think. Wow, that's crazy. So let's look at this. Wow, look at that. Alpha Gator, okay. All right, right? So we got, you may reveal this page from your chapter to search your spellbook for a city terror page and add it to your chapter, then shuffle this page into your spellbook. Place two sour gator from your limbo into your chapter. City is also active for the rest of the game. That's on contract. Really, really strong. Stone skin, 100 LP. This guy means business. He means business. He means business, right? I uh, got lots, lots and lots and lots of tests to run with that guy. Because it's really not that hard to get the card you want out with a water deck right now. But the issue is there's a... Mmm! Oh! I almost revealed more. You don't have to... Subscribe to the Patreon if you want to know what that card's all about. I've got some deck lists coming out that have uh, info on some neat side deck info, right? So we got the Alpha Gator. Uh -uh. Rocky? Okay. Man. Look at that. I love that artwork. Oh, they better have 10 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, I love that. That That's just so wonderful right there. Shout out to Kelsey, all right? You did a great job. Shout out. And you did the Alpha Gator. I mean, shout out to you. You killed it, okay? You killed it. That's all you need to know is you killed it. They're considered a beastie dinosaur. Interesting. Interesting. Oh... Okay. Okay. I still don't. Two title pulls. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. You guys already knew what the what the Water King needed. And then we got two bookmarks, of course, and then more lightning in a bottle. Okay, so it looks like oh, only three. That's that's okay. It's okay. Don't get mad. Overgrown city, right? Yeah, man. Wow. Exciting things are coming. Exciting things are coming. I'm going to have a new deck built very, very soon. I mean, very soon. So you guys just look out for that. And uh, this was... Oh! 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 I got so excited and ready to build the water deck. I almost forgot I got one more pack. Watch, this is going to be the pack that has... That has, like, the most beautiful... Beautifulness in it right there. This is going to be the pack. Because it's, it's been all building up to this, guys. It's been all building up to this. Yeah, it's just four. Okay. Ah, atmospheric jellyfish. Ant. Megalodon tooth. Hey. Water from the water. That's dope. That's do Had this been a theme deck duel, that would have been very good for me. Very, very good for me, but it's not, so it's all right, <laughs> but it's cool. It's coolio, but anyway, guys, this was your boy, Chris. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.